apnea, what is really happening. When the airflow drops to below 50% of normal, this is known as an hypopnea. If you have SDB, the amount of flow limitation you experience, with or without snoring, varies continuously during the night. As the muscles in the upper airway start to relax, the suction effect of each inward breath tends to draw the soft tissues down towards the back of the airway. Over a series of breaths, the airway progressively narrows and the airflow decreases. There are times when airflow stops completely because the airway is blocked. This is known as an apnea. Air supply to the lungs is interrupted during an apnea. Our model shows obvious signs of an apnea event. The airflow trace changes to a horizontal line for the length of time that the apnea persists. This demonstrates that there is absolutely no airflow as our model struggles to get air through the collapsed airway. There is no noise at all, which is a particularly dramatic change if the apnea follows snoring. Our model has stopped breathing. An apnea can continue for 10 seconds or more, and in severe cases, for up to a minute or longer. During this time, the heart rate drops significantly. So does the level of oxygen in the blood, since no fresh air enters the lungs to replenish the depleting oxygen. The brain soon realizes that the body is struggling. That is why an apnea always triggers a strong arousal, with severe effects on the body. Our model gasps for air, causing a sudden movement in the noise phase. Brain activity increases significantly. The heart rate after arousal is almost double what it was during the apnea. Our model's rapid breathing increases the airflow and the blood oxygen level begins to rise again. The tongue and soft palate quickly return to their normal position as the airway opens fully. The airflow curve returns to the normal bell shape. With every arousal, your body may move to another position in the bed. But you will probably not remember waking up, even if arousals occur hundreds of times each night. Your partner is likely to notice your apneas and arousals, mainly because, together with snoring, they are keeping him or her awake. Apnea arousal cycles produce significant stresses to your body. As you have seen, apneas cause depletion of oxygen supply to vital organs, including the brain. Arousals literally jolt the cardiovascular system. People with severe sleep-disordered breathing have poor quality of sleep. They may rarely experience the normal sequence of light and deep sleep stages, which are necessary for healthy sleep. Generally, people who have SDB are often excessively sleepy during the day. They easily fall asleep at work while driving a car, talking, reading or watching television. Sleep deprivation can make them especially irritable. Research has shown that untreated SDB may also have other more serious consequences such as high blood pressure, serious heart conditions, sexual problems, impaired memory, impaired concentration, intellectual deterioration, depression, morning headaches and accidents due to sleepiness and fatigue. The good news is that it is possible to effectively treat SDB in order to get healthy sleep and enjoy a healthier life.